Hey everybody, I wanted to do a, a fairly quick video on uh, this class and it's the 185, it's going to be the uh, bar, or the Bureau of Auto Repair Inspector um, Level 1 uh, class. There's going to be two classes uh, in this sequence. We're going to have the Level 1, what we're starting off with right now, and then we're going to have the Level 2. So um, please, uh, you know, you know, follow my, kind of my lead here. I want to make sure you know what the requirements are and how you can be successful in this class and also successful to get your uh, bar certification too. So let's go ahead and get started. I, I have a PowerPoint I'm going to share with you right now. Let's see, I'll grab it. All right, you should be seeing a screen right now with my, uh, my name up there. Uh, so what I wanted to do is kind of break it down a little bit for you of what the class is all about and how important it is uh, as a smog technician to uh, be certified and to actually keep up with your certifications too. So um, what, what I have planned for you in this little quick little video is a little brief introduction of myself and where, you know, why am I the, uh, um, the accident instructor and, um, you know, why I, I chose to do uh, this kind of training also. Uh, so we'll get into that. We'll talk about the syllabus. We'll get into the requirements of, you know, the bar requirements. We'll talk about the class requirements too. We'll talk about the materials that you're gonna need to have on hand and talk about Canvas access. I'll take you over to Canvas. Uh, in another video, I, I want to kind of just focus on the class requirements and then get into the specific, you know, spots that we go to also. And then we'll, we'll talk about the SB2, which is our safety training that is required for the department. And I'll get, take you over to the uh, Cal, uh, California ARC website, which is the smog technician you need to sign up for that to keep things going. And then we'll I'll take you over to the bar uh, smog check uh, website also. And you'll be taking a pre-test. Um, it's just more to show me a baseline where the class is at or where you are at and how I can assist you to be successful in this class and all your classes uh, that you take here at Santa Ana College. And also uh, I, I want, uh, of course, to uh, see where you're you know, individually at and that way I can help you um, excel. And then uh, another video we'll be putting up per fairly shortly is on safety and I want to kind of focus on the safety of smog check because um, not only <coughs> excuse me, are we um, worried about safety but we also with a dyno we have to a little bit uh, we have to be very very careful and how we take care of things. So you'll see a video uh, strictly on that too. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, <coughs> excuse me. This is me. Um, everybody calls me Marty. Please feel free to call me Marty. Um, I am very um, yeah, easygoing. I, I, I'm very impersonal. You don't have to call me Professor or Mr. Rudd or anything like that. I, I'd rather you just call me Marty. I am an associate professor here at Santa Ana College. I'm a, a bar, uh, you know, I'm bar certified to teach this class. I am a coordinator and a trainer, and I do hold my uh, smog check inspector license, which you're going for. And I also have the repair side too, which is a little more involved, and I'll talk a little bit about that as the class goes on. I am an ASC Master uh, Automotive uh, Technician. I'm an ASC Master uh, Medium Heavy Duty uh, Truck Technician also. And I also am a, a ma uh, ASC Master uh, Transit Technician. So I hold quite a few certifications and we'll talk more about that as we go along. So my hobbies, I like to go for walks. I just like to go t and get in my car and just drive around and have fun. Plus, I like posting videos that can actually help people. I, I try to cut it up a little bit too. I'm a big fan of dad jokes. So if you know any good dad jokes, please you know, throw them my way. All right, and let's go ahead and get going. I wanna talk about the syllabus. I'm gonna take you over on another video 
about the syllabus. And one of the main things on this video I wanted you to do is please, a, a lot of the ways to be successful is look at the syllabus. If you, and if you have any, uh, you want to get a hold of me at any given time, my contact information is in the syllabus. In Canvas, my how to get a hold of me is in syllabus. We have a communication plan that we want to make sure that we know that I can get a hold of Mr. Rudd, okay? Or get a hold of Marty, and how he started doing it. And also in our syllabus has uh, a great way you, of you to keep track of your grades. And this is really important that you watch the video uh, that actually uh, talks about uh, Canvas and how important Canvas is to help you be successful. So let's get down to the nitty gritty. Let's talk about this level one training. So on the level one training, we're gonna be going over the engines and mission control system, but we're gonna start with the basics. We're gonna start off with uh, the things that you really, really need to know uh, is to be, uh, to pass the level one uh, training. So, the, you know, you, you don't have to have an experience. So I've taught um, people that have no experience in uh, the automobile, and I've taught people that have a lot of experience in the automobile. But we are gonna start on the basics. We'll talk about the engine design. We'll actually have to talk about cooling systems because uh, cooling systems affect uh, engine performance and also emissions. We'll also talk about oils. We'll start getting into uh, talking about, uh, you know, electrical we'll be talking about all the emission components that's involved in it too so each uh, section I will have different videos up here along with being there in the lab with you also so you need to be able not only to listen but you need to be able to demonstrate that you know bar is very particular on this that you know, they kind of got little um, columns that you have to check off the boxes to make sure the student has all this. This uh, class is a minimum of 68 hours. And as you can tell already, that you can actually have a lot more involved in it. That's why we don't stop at the 60, 68 hours. You need that extra, uh, you know, an extra practice. You need the extra study to really be successful as this uh, bar uh, check, um, smog check technician and, you know, inspector. So you don't need a book. I'll be handing all the materials to you, but uh, it is important that you have some way of getting onto Canvas, uh, whether it be a laptop, an iPad, a Kindle, whatever. You need to be able to access this. You can get access to, uh, you know, um, Canvas uh, on campus, uh, which we, we have lab um, lab computers in the uh, uh, you know the admissions lab. Uh, we also uh, you also have access as a student to get um, you know you can actually get access to computers in the computer labs. Uh, there's computers all the way around, but I, I really to because the material I'm going to give you you really want to have that. So you can reference it later. Uh, so uh, you, you want to have your own uh, laptop or a computer at home like that to help you out also. And I encourage you to bring technology with you, your laptops and your iPads, and, into class. You know, because there's gonna be times I'm gonna be referencing uh, your phone. It can be a good tool also to help you with this class. So, uh, you can access Canvas through, uh, you know, your phone. Uh, you get uh, there's a nice little app that you can actually do some of your uh, well, worksheets and also your uh, quizzes could be right on your phone too so just a, a cool little thing to add into that too so this is our um, you know our website and to get into canvas you can see you know that we, all you have to do is go to sac.edu and you can actually get right into uh, Canvas. Now Canvas is right on the very top up there. Um, all you have to do is click on that button, it's gonna take you right. I, I, this is just a picture so I can't do that, but again, there's gonna be another video just strictly on Canvas. This is just an overview of the class and this little you know, presentation that you have here too. 
So uh, the other thing I wanted to talk about is our safety training. We want to make sure nobody gets hurt. And we want to make sure that you uh, are safe, uh, not you know, just, you know, physically and also uh, health-wise too. Because we deal with uh, vehicles that have emissions coming out of them. We're you know, coming out, well, hopefully we're coming out of the COVID, which we're going to talk a little bit about that also as we go along. So this is going to be some uh, safety training that's required that you take before we really can get heavy duty in the lab. And this class is pretty heavy duty in the lab. So we want to get this done as soon as possible. When a Canvas opens up, which I believe it's the Monday the 13th, uh, it will uh, pop up in your Canvas shell. And I encourage you to jump on to the SP2 as soon as possible. I will put a link in also in our you know introduction page. So if you can, click on it and get started on onto your uh, safety training. All right, and the California ARC, again, I'm gonna have another video coming up really soon on the California ARC, how to get to it, why it's important, and um, make sure that you sign up as soon as possible for it. This is gonna help you, be again, be successful in the SPAR program. So if you click on, well, I'll, I'll show you how to get onto this. This is the actual, um, Smog Check website too. I'll have a little, um, um, you know, kind of a tour of the Smog Check website. It'll be a quick little video, show you where you need to go to get information about the Smog, smog Check program and keep up to date on it. And I, I as a Smog technician, I really recommend that you go up a minimum of once a month to see what's going on. There's a lot of stuff that just flies through um, before you know it. All right. And one other thing, uh, I want you to know that you're safe on campus. There is uh, a, a safety, a campus safety um, section that actually um, looks out for you. Uh, you need to be looking out for yourself too. At this uh, time of this video, we've had some really horrific uh, issues. And, we've, and as a nation, we've really had some horrific things. I won't get into politics. But I want you to be safe in the old uh, adage, you know, or the old saying, I should say. If you see something, say something. Don't be afraid to let me know if you see something going on. I will contact safety as soon as possible. Safety would rather you uh, let them know now than to find out later uh, when there's something horrific uh, like what's been happening here lately. All right, folks, this is uh, the quick little video. Just an introduction on the uh, Auto 185, uh, the Inspector Level 1 uh, class, and I look forward to being your instructor, and if you have any questions, feel free to uh, reach out to me. I'll have my, um, my contact information in the little box below, or uh, you'll also find it in the syllabus. All right, uh, bye for now, and I'll talk to you really soon. Take care.